With the start of the new year, unfortunately, we can't ignore Iran and its race to continue uh, to achieve nuclear capability. Iran has an agenda of its own. It's uh, defied the world and has ignored the three rounds of UN sanctions to halt its uh, race for nuclear power. Um, what strategy should the world adopt against the Islamic Republic? The world should be uh, more tough with Iran. Uh, it seems that with diplomatic uh, uh, elements it's not good enough to stop Iran and to make Iran understand that the uh, race toward uh, nuclear capability is not good for the world. So diplomatic uh, issues and uh, declarations and uh, meetings yeah, are not good enough. I believe that at some, at some point the world uh, should not only adopt resolutions but act. Former U.S. weapons expert David Kay over the weekend said that he estimates that Iran will produce a nuclear weapon within two to five years. At the same time, he advised against launching a military strike against Iran unless, of course, information is received that such a weapon will fall into terrorist hands. What do you think about this? You know, all these statements or assessments about uh, when Iran will achieve the nuclear capability they are not getting, these experts are not getting every day the declarations from the supreme leaders or other leaders from Iran that just say that they want to destroy Israel. We hear every day on TV or radio stations that the Iranian government wants to destroy Israel. So we cannot wait six years, one year, six months when is Iran will get this nuclear capability to, to do something. For us, time is uh, running out. There is no time to act. I mean, we cannot take into consideration such a schedule even by experts, when Iran will get the, uh, the bomb. When Iran wants to destroy Israel, that's for us the only and very serious timetable in order to act against such decisions from the Iranian government. Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Khamenei, declared that Israel is on the path to destruction. He also expressed uh, wholehearted support for Hamas and Hamas leader Ismail Haniya. And uh, now his uh, statements are just part of an increase in the rhetoric we've seen over the past weeks by Iranian yeah. leaders calling for uh, Israel's destruction. Why do you think this is happening now? When a supreme leader is uh, threatening Israel, it means that it, uh, it is a, a supreme threat. Uh, so we have to take it very seriously in Israel. I believe that uh, rhetoric is uh, the first step before action. I don't believe that Iran is only talking. I don't believe that Iran is only uh, giving some uh, rhetorical uh, uh, purposes for the world. I think that Iran has a very clear policy to do something. Why now? Why uh, so many uh, declarations now more than before? I don't know. Time now is to see how the state of Israel, the government of Israel, in spite of some uh, political uh, change in Israel, how we have to uh, react and I think that uh, time becomes very dangerous, very dangerous. And the world also now is busy with the uh, economic crisis. So altogether, the Iranians are doing uh, almost what they want to do in a clear field, because the world is busy with something else. But we have to make it clear that uh, we are not forgetting these threats, and we have to make it clear for the world that these threats are not only against Israel, but for the entire community. Israel's government, Echelon, has said that a military strike against Iran remains on the table. In other words, it is a viable option. How effective do you think uh, such a strike will be to destroy Iran's nuclear facilities? It's a terrible dilemma for Israel. From one hand, we don't want war. We have said many times that Israel doesn't want war with Iran. Of course, not with the Iranian people. From the other side, uh, we cannot wait to be the, uh, attacked before uh, reacting. So uh, this military strike is possible. Uh, we believe that there is uh, all the means in Israel in order to uh, strike uh, against uh, specific nuclear uh, targets in Iran. I think that the goal is not to destroy everything there. The goal is to make it clear that Israel cannot continue to be with a nuclear Iran threatening every day, more and more, more and more every day, Israel. That's for us impossible, and uh, this is the issue that we have to, to take into account for the next uh, weeks, next months.
The U.S. and Israel have launched a joint project, and for the first time since the Gulf War, U.S. troops are deployed in southern Israel where they'll be manning a radar system to combat the Iranian missile threat. How significant is this uh, step? It's even the first time when uh, U.S. soldiers are uh, controlling uh, themselves only uh, military installations in Israeli territory. I think it's a clear message also from the U.S. government to Iran, or to enemies of Israel, that uh, we're not alone and they will be uh, close to us, who will stand with us against any threat, if it is an offensive or defensive strategy. Uh, again, uh, hopefully these steps are messages. We hope that in Iran, in Tehran, they will get this message as a first step to Warning. avoid, to mm -hmm. avoid what could be uh, uh, possible to, to occur if they don't stop. With the world economy in turmoil, um, how will the global economic uh, situation affect the international community's attitude towards Iran? You know, I'm not a prophet. I'm a human being, I'm a Israeli citizen. Generally, um, in history, uh, and you know that I like history very much, uh, big economic crises uh, have led to... Uh, big uh, conflict. And sometimes, uh, because it is maybe the human nature, uh, conflicts and wars are the byproduct of such a uh, uh, big uh, economic or financial crisis. The world uh, is not forgetting, because of this crisis, the Iranian problem. And they will not uh, believe, even if they are now dealing with this uh, crisis will not forget that there is a big danger for the world. And uh, Iran has to be very careful not to think that because of the Wall Street crisis, they can do what they want to do without any uh, problem, without any uh, uh, intervention of anyone. Because people are looking very seriously. The French, the Brits, the German, the Swiss, the US government, even the Russian are looking at Iran because they don't want this actor to become the leader in uh, the next world policy uh, uh, steps. Olivier, thank you for taking time out to uh, discuss this very uh, worrying issue. Obviously, we hope the new year will bring uh, better news and positive developments. But uh, as expected, InfoLive TV will continue monitoring the situation regarding Iran and the nuclear threat, not only on Israel, but the entire world. Thank you, Margot. Thank, thank you. Very you. Much.